amateur contest is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Introducing first your fighter in the blue corner. He weighed in at 70 kilograms and tonight is his debut in the cage. Representing Monster MMA, Aaron Douglas. And his opponent standing across the cage in the red corner. He weighed in at 70 kilograms and holds a mixed martial arts record of one victory and one defeat. Representing Manchester Top Team, Connor McGuffey. Connor McGuffey, the Manchester Top Team prospect in the black venom shorts, fighting out of the red corner, taking on the most laid back man I have ever seen in the cage, Aaron Douglas. Yep. Man, it's lucky we didn't have to wake him up from yeah. a nap as he was waiting. Cool as a cucumber, him, Steve. Very chilled. The McGordys, though, a, a fighting family. Is he the sister in the corner? Aaron Douglas pulls guard by the looks of it there. Uh, oh, that's a slick armbar. That was a very nice transition. Connor needs to step over the head. He's done that. It's going to be hard for yeah. him to finish now. It was a beautiful escape. Back to that relentless pressure. And bullies this man down to the ground. Aaron Douglas, though, still has that butterfly in. Doesn't look scared to be on his back, though, nope. does he, Steve? He's already showed us some slick jiu-jitsu. Hard to see. Connor needs to use the cage now to his advantage. Yeah, Connor with chipping away there at the body. Every chance he gets, he's landing something. But, but I, I can tell you this now, Aaron Douglas is a skilled jiu-jitsu competitor. Now he's threatening a leg lock. Got to be careful, though, not to open the head up. Yeah, it isn't jiu-jitsu, it's MMA, Steve. And right now, Connor's in a position where he can land big punches. He's got the wrist cause of Aaron Douglas. That's affected ground and pound. No heel looks in MMA, so this position's not as strong as it could be for, for Aaron Douglas on the bottom. Yeah, he needs to perhaps do a little more work from the bottom here to keep McGarvey off him. Again. Oh, it's a big shot. Picking his shots now, Connor. Yeah. It, it. Hammer fist now, adding a little bit of ferocity. And you can see him really trying to control that right wrist. I love that, Steve. I think that shows a, a sign of maturity when a guy's on top and he's hand fighting. But Aaron, you know, d oh, oh no, there was... you go. That was probably the best shot of the fight so far. And now you can see he's trying triangle oh, the leg a as well. Crucifix position with the leg in. Aaron Douglas rolls back through to guard. Yeah, he keeps trying to threaten, but... Oh, this is great top position from Connor. Great control. Battle of millimeters in there right now, Steve. Absolutely. You can see that Aaron Douglas was trying to reach rounds for the leg. Such but... effective ground upon this, though. If you look, the arm of Aaron Douglas is stuck with the leg. Yeah, I mean... This, this is a fight-ending position, potentially, here for, for Connor McGordy. Yeah, he's, got, can... he, he's got the wrist controlled it's still now he should oh, be able nice. to just hammer away at will I'd like to see him go for both knee to the body yeah, well done favorite. I, I honestly think there's potentially here for Connor if he just doesn't stop pissing him away yeah. with those punches he's going to get a stoppage last 10 last 10 and a round that's been all Manchester top yeah, team. Yeah, I think Adam Douglas too too cool off his back. Perhaps just too happy to stay there. You know that was that was a lot of control time. Yeah, lots yep. of shots landed. Other than the flash armbar, it was all Connor. That armbar was legit though, Steve, so Connor only needs to make half a mistake and Aaron Douglas will take his limb or his neck. 10-9? I think it was a 10-9 round. Close to a 10-8, perhaps. Yeah, I think without the armbar, you might have maybe a little bit more work from Connor than being a 10-8. Yeah, positive first round from young Connor McGarvey. Manchester top team prospect, one and one. Yeah, the, the McGordy family are so physical. Oh. Izzy, Callum, Connor. Genetically, these are a strong family. Don't think they ever met a fight they didn't like. No. 
Round two of potential three here. Paul Crossley starts us off. We'll see if Aaron Douglas can be a little more. It'll be interesting to see what Aaron Douglas is like on top. Certainly got a, a guard game that he is comfortable with, but what's his top game like? Can he can he be the guy forcing the takedown? Be interesting to see whether it's him that looks to initiate the clinch work or not. Oh, oh big right on. Yeah. Again, Aaron Douglas. Chin being tested. I'm liking the maturity and the patience from Conor McGordy here. Yeah, he's not rushing in. He's no. not, not biting on any of the, the big feints. Or... Does seem to be a little bit more crisp with his stand-up. Yeah, oh, nice job. Douglas half committing to those kicks a few times now. It's going to get him caught. Oh, nice low kick as he circled onto it. Cut him off with the low kick. Is, 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 is Douglas... Douglas starting to feel that pressure from the first round a little. He seems to have slowed down a little bit. I mean, oh, he's not. Did he ever speed up? I think he's still well, in second gear. Steve. Yeah. He might like to fight at this calm pace. That's fine if you're leading the judges' scorecards. Yep. If you're not, though, it's a it's a recipe to make life really oh, hard nice for you. Left hook. Yeah, a little nod of appreciation there from Aaron Douglas as Conor McGoffey lands that right hook. Very mature from the Manchester top yep, team I'm, prospect. I'm, I'm waiting for a power double leg from Conor. Just short with that head kick. At the moment, he doesn't seem particularly worried about anything that Aaron can do on oh. the feet. That just clipped him. Oh, Superman punch almost yeah. got him again. Starting to feel a little bit, a little bit froggy as the Manchester top team man. And Aaron Douglas pushing forward, but it's oh, they're, they're what a late. lovely little angle change into a double leg there. That was, that was sublime. That. And it, but it was followed up after two lazy jabs. There's the the gift wrap here from Connor. He's passed into side control. Aaron Douglas did wrap the neck on the way down, but he was unable Neon to. Neon Belly now trying to yep. slice over. Oh, what a performance. Yeah, end Connor of the map. This has been beautiful so this far. Is a, a clinic, Steve, is the word I use. Ten seconds left in the round. He really hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? Connor in this fight so far. No, take it. Oh, big like, shots. Probably the probably the most damage he's taken in the round was missing that shot and punching the canvas. And it looks to me as Aaron Douglas makes his way over to the corner that he is starting to feel this pressure. Gas tank looks like it's starting to empty a little bit. Only a finish for him now, Steve, can get him this fight. So far, it's been six almost perfect minutes. Golf Prince quite animated there in the corner. Must be happy with the as, performance as so far. always, though. Seconds are known when it comes to energy in the cage, Carl Prince. Aaron Douglas's corner, I hope it's telling him he's got to go for broke. Yeah, it's absolutely hell for leather now. Oh, what atmosphere as well, supporting Conor McGordy here. Paul Crossley starts his off third and final round. We'll see if Conor McGordy. And it's Conor who brings that agency back into round three. You think he was the guy who was two rounds down right now? I love that he moves straight to the center of the cage. Plants himself there and starts to march forward. But he's not in a rush. No. Picking his shots now. Patience, isn't he? Aaron Douglas wants a fight. Hands nice and nice and low. I'm not sure nice and low is the right. Yeah. Bit low, yeah, bit low. Dangerously low by the waist. And again, 
Connor not biting into that though. Fake that, so everything, he just, he pulls up on everything. Yeah, he's not really following through, is he, Adam Douglas? Paul Williams Crossley giving him some encouragement here. Connor doing everything he needs to do. I don't mean to be overly critical or harsh, but it's all good and well to be walking forward with your hands down, calling yeah. the guy on, but you need to be actually winning the fight first. Yeah, that's too much bark, not enough bite for me, Steve. Nice low kick there from Aaron Douglas. It, uh, yeah, it doesn't have much snap on it, though. No, it doesn't, Steve, you're right. And Connor is still happy to control the center. And, Fair play to Kong. He doesn't need to rush in and do anything oh. silly. He's well up in this fight. Yeah, yeah. Although I do feel like he can finish this fight, Steve. Well, right, the corner calling him forward, asking for a bit more work. He's back oh, there and nice. Douglas up. There you go, a bit more pressure now from Connor. Tries that front kick up the middle. Aaron Douglas needs to switch his attention to fight. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's all good to compliment your yeah. opponent about how close they came, but when you're two rounds in the hole, you need to be doing a little bit more. And again, I love the fact that Connor isn't putting anything at risk, isn't being, he doesn't need to be oh, the one. It's, it's his fight to lose now. That's right. He's still working, he's still landing effective techniques. That was a good right hand. Now, is that Aaron Douglas pointing to the center of the cage going, let's let's just stand here? <laughs> let's have a chat. Oh, let's throw down, what's it gonna be? Throw down, come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, nice, another right hand from Conor. Yeah. Oh, that was a stiff job. Beautiful straight left. That registered, Steve. Conor hasn't missed with much, no, Steve. He, everything he's thrown, he's landed. I mean, a solid performance from a young fighter. Yeah, but it was almost like he wasn't asked to go through the gears. He started in neutral, moved up to first. I don't think he got out of second gear no, I don't, fight. I don't. And that's a frightening prospect yeah. as well. Like, how much more could he have given? A lot more. Well, I'm not sure our judges really have a lot to do with this one. Yeah, only one winner here for me, uh, Steve. Absolutely, I mean, Aaron Douglas was there. Clini clinical performance, yeah. didn't really take any risks. Intelligent. You know, he was put in an arm bar, he was, he was out of it. There was very little danger. And you did get the sense that if he needed to turn it up, he had a it few more gears yeah. to go. Certainly paced himself well. Let's Ladies turn it to Mr. Chris Clark to, to make it official. To the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30 27 in favor of your winner, Connor McCarthy. And let's hear it for your runner up, Aaron Douglas.